I'm on my way to Sharkau and it's my first ever solo trip by myself. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But I'm not going to do it. 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 I'm Bawal plastic here, so so nice. And kumuha ko ng double room. May mirror lang jan. And eto yung shower room. Yan. Yan may shower and conditioner too. And then this is the toilet there. And then there's just bed and a sofa lang. And then, uh, ito, yung cabinet. 
and there are towels too. And there's a safe here too. And here yung labas. And there's just two chairs there. And then at the yung view. And then the restaurant is right over there. Yeah, it's super nice here. I was worried because this is super big. I didn't have my luggage. Ko. I didn't want to check in because why would I? Because I'm here all day. And I just bit it in the hand carry. And I was worried that maybe it was just an extra bag because it's so big. But I'm so happy. So I'm so happy with this freaking tripod. I'm so happy. I hope I'll use this in public because I'm going to set up. Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. So I decided to vlog everything that I'm doing. Actually, I've always thought of vlogging talaga, ever since I was 15 years old. And now I don't have to because I don't know. I just feel like now is the right time to do this. And I just love documenting my life. I just love taking pictures. I love taking videos of everything. So I decided, kasi puno puno na yung storage ko. And I love documenting memories. So gusto ko na lang siyang ipost sa YouTube. Anyway, I'm here in Chargao. What? This is my very very first solo trip. And so far, I'm really loving it. I wish I have stayed here longer. I wanted to spend more time. I wanted to spend more time with my friends in Manila. So I decided to spend three days here, which I regret. Dapat nagwani ako or two, because oh my god, I love it here. It's so quiet. It's so peaceful. So, anyway, I checked in here sa Bravo. I recommend to my friend kasi Ivy. Super nice here. Super at beachfront shop. I arrived here at 6 a.m. So I was expecting na atamay mo nako sa isang cafe para magwait, ng check in. Pero pagdating ko here, everything is just already ready. I didn't wait for anything. Ready na yung room pagdating ko. Sabi naman ni kuya, it's because it's not really busy, kasi it's January. Usually daw busy na September ba or November pag surfing month.
start with the lower one. Now it's locked. Now it's locked. All right, when it's the key is turned right, it's locked. It's very important to take time off from the chaotic world that we're living in and take time to reflect and unwind. In between goals is a thing called life that we have to enjoy and devour. Now, what are the benefits of traveling solo and why I think you should do it at least once in your life? Traveling solo gives you solitude and solitude is very important as it allows you to learn more about yourself 
the quiet gives you the opportunity to listen to your own thoughts and deal with your dilemmas on your own. And traveling solo means you decide what to do with your time so you don't have to waste a second debating where you want to go. Also, it's very empowering being on your own. I feel like people who could travel solo are very powerful people because it takes a lot of courage to do this. So if you're used to doing this, you're a strong, independent, strong-willed person who can conquer anything the world could possibly throw at you.
5 p.m. and super super duper duper sarap. As in the best, one of the best massages that I've ever ever had. Bravo! Thank you so much for that massage. It's really good. It was 600 per hour. I massage an hour and 30 minutes. So that's 900 pesos. Super sulit. Kasi super galing ni ate. As in the best. Anyway, I'm so tired. Uh, I'm really enjoying this time of peace and serenity and calmness. I hope I don't have to interact with people. Because I feel like this is my time to just relax and think and listen to my own thoughts. And why I'm here on this trip because I just really wanted to relax. I just wanted to go back to my bike. It's super, super quiet here. This place, Shergao, is one of the best places that I have ever been in in my life. And the people here are so kind. That's it for today's video. I'm so, so, so happy. I could cross this off of my bucket list to um, go to Shergao alone. And uh, super fun. It's super, my heart is just at peace because. I made this trip happen and I'm so so grateful and I'm so so happy and I'm just gonna rest na I hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel I'm gonna be listing all the expenses that I made for this whole trip uh, description box below wow huge good night Lately, I've been feeling the burnout from school and work and just balancing it with life in general. I've been wanting to create a life where I won't need a vacation from and that has always been the goal. But the more I rush into things, the more slow the process is becoming because I've been needing an escape from reality once in a while and it takes time to get the momentum back again. So this trip has been a lifesaver because it really helped me regain back my perspective and slowly realize that I shouldn't rush into things and just live life. In your 20s is the time to explore and enjoy and travel, meet new people, learn new cultures, learn new skills. You don't have to give in to society's pressure. Life is meant to be enjoyed. So go have fun. Tell me what you do on a Sunday.